Hi guys, what's up? I'm Momo and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for joining me and before I go anywhere, please be kind enough to like, subscribe, wait, subscribe, like and share. I don't know if that stuff doesn't do that, but yes, do that and we'll go along together. And thank you very much to the guys that have been very supportive, guys who have already subscribed, guys who are giving me positive um, feedback, criticism, that's awesome. I love it and I feel encouraged by it. Okay, so story time. I'm going to tell you guys about something that I've gone through in China and pick something from it. So, this time I was walking on the road and I wanted to hail a cab. That's a very weird episode. No. Restart. I wanted to hail a cab whilst I was on the road. I wanted to hail a cab. So, this cab guy, Mr. X, refused to take me. Guys, the guy refused to take me. <laughs> okay, maybe. <laughs> Sorry. The cab refused to stop. And just ahead of me, like a few feet ahead of me, was a Chinese guy who he took. I mean, at first I thought, you know, country mate. Maybe if I was a cub person, I would obviously choose a Ugandan. But then I realized it happened again and again. Not successfully, but, you know, different events. And then, as I was reading, some other time, I was reading a news post and they were advertising for a job. And then these people listed their credentials you know like you should have a bachelor's of this experience in that and stuff and among the very last things they wrote you should be white now i'm sure you guys know where i'm going with this i thought you know maybe you know just it's a one-time thing and then i read it again and again so i'm sure as you have already figured out by now today's topic is going to be about race cliche right but we're going to approach race in a whole different more fun and more adult way with due respect to all the other people that have been approaching this topic so i'm going to talk about self-confidence in regard to race and i'm going to talk about forgiveness too so if you come to a country like China or I don't know about other countries in Asia but the little I know is it's probably a thing in Asia and you if you come to a country like this you're going to find that um, if you're black especially you're going to go through some not so pleasant experiences but not, they're not so alarming as in to not want to come here or to be afraid of coming here so not that scratch that and like I said before in my other blog my, 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 my YouTube video the people here, one of the disadvantages is that they're not very enlightened or they're not very informed on the outside world. So they're not, oh, some of them are not informed as in the existence of black and white. It's a real thing where you go into the place and you're the only black person and they're taking videos of you and they want to touch your hair. Some of it can be nice depending on how you process it. But the definite thing is that it's going to be irritating. And when it's used as a label, on what you can and cannot access in this country it can get very frustrating and as such can also level your self-ability your self-confidence but on the bright side it's a good thing I've learned because you learn to know who you are and that's one thing I want to talk about today guys know who you are know who you what, what you're worth know what you want to be all that is very very important and it sparks the confidence your confidence will spark the next person's confidence in you so i've learned to be proud of my african heritage i've learned to be proud of my african heritage and i have learned that my attitude to my representation of africa either sparks disgust or interest in the chinese people that i talk to about africa so I don't blame the people who do what they have to do. Some, some, sometimes it can get really, really frustrating because if you're here to get a job or you're looking for a job and somebody says you cannot get a job unless you're light-skinned, 
or you're from a certain country you find that people start to lie about where they're from or you know things about themselves they're not totally well packaged they're not proud of who you who they are or they are but they're pushed in a corner where they have to you know deny who they are so I totally understand that but if you try it on the flip side and actually represent exactly where you're from you're going to find that people are interested people want to know people are you know they actually hang out with you for who you are sometimes it can go bad and you tell somebody hey yo I'm American and then after some time they're checking like your WeChat moments and they find that you're raising the Ugandan flag. It's, it, it can get into like very awkward moments, you know? So, guys, just love yourself. And in regard to the topic of race and stuff, I know that very many people have approached it, but I want you guys to be very keen to know that how you treat somebody, even it's possible, you know, some, first, let's first clear something up. Black people can also be racist. So it's, I know that we've been victims for a very long time, that we've forgotten our role, the role we play in the subject of race. So I don't care you're black, you're white, you're yellow, you're red, I don't care about that. Just know that you have a big part to play in this, in, the, in a person's life. How you treat somebody could determine how they treat somebody else, you know? Stereotypes are there because of that very reason. Like people are able to stereotype Chinese people as racist or to treat white people as racist because just one white person treated a certain other person in a very bad way so therefore white people are racist you know so or just because one black person stole therefore all black people are thieves so it's like it's a sad thing to say but i think that the highlight of all this the best way to approach this topic is with a light heart and forgiveness guys there is love and forgiveness there is freedom there is enlightenment there is wisdom in forgiveness I, I'm not trying to start a manifesto but I'm just really saying that you can't determine how a person is going to treat you but you can determine how you're going to react to how they treat you how you respond really they will hurt you you will hurt for sure but after just make sure you're not hurt for a long time process and heal and forgive you know fill your heart with light so I'm not trying to preach or anything but I'm trying to say that be thankful of where you are because there is there, there's a lot to learn you know you get to discover who you are I'm thankful that I've been in this country because before that I thought self-confidence was just about how you look and how you walk and how all that stuff but it's much more than that so I just want you guys to be out there and just be keen on how you treat somebody be sure to forgive circumstances like that and love where you are love the people that you're around and let them love you you deserve love guys and just love. I love you guys for loving me.